What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata, and I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to the content on this platform. And let's talk about this next download. A spiritual chastity belt has been put on you. Okay, whoever I'm picking up on. You have had zero luck and love for quite some time now. Your attempts to be in intimate partnerships have blown up in your face. Your most recent attempts, you just have not met anybody credible, anybody honest, faithful, okay? The last few men that you have met, they gave they gave op energy, energy, and they were ops. Okay, whether they were sent in specifically by somebody or if they were some sort of spiritual op, you know, the devil trying to test you. But the universe has decided that a spiritual chastity belt is being placed on you because they don't even want you to take a chance with any more op karmic demonic energies. You do have a divine masculine who is also in some sort of healing stage, trying to ascend to where you are. And the universe is keeping you kept, keeping a lock on that thing, okay? So that you won't make the same mistake again, meaning that you won't attempt to date someone who is not in alignment with you, even though they present themselves like they are only to try to come in and destroy you somehow. The next person that comes towards you, they will be un able to unlock this chastity belt. Okay, this is the download I got now. Somebody, this is for somebody. They're going to have the key. And you're going to know that they have the key to your chastity belt because of how they present themselves to you. They could be a king of wands. You are an empress. And the universe is not going to let you chance and waste your good thing on no more off karmic energies that are truly coming in disguised as king of wands, as potential divine counterparts. These men that you have given a chance recently, they come in as king of wands now. That's how they present themselves. And you figure out very quickly that that's not who they are. They're knight of wands. But the universe ain't even finna let you waste no time trying to figure it out no more, okay? They just not even gonna put you through it. The next person that comes towards you they're not going to be a knight of wands. They're going to be a chariot energy. The person who is your true divine masculine. I'm telling you, they're going to have the key, honey. So, Holy Spirit, mm, let's see. This has been your vibe now. You've been on some sort of mission. Not really. I ain't going to say that you've been on a mission. But your goal has been to find your divine masculine. Okay? I'm not saying that you're out here on no dating dating apps trying to hook up with nobody. If somebody approaches you, they approach you in this emperor energy as of late because they know they can't come towards you on no bullshit with this queen of swords here, okay? And the way that they look to you when they pull up on you is very promising. But once you start celebrating with these men, they show their true face very quickly and you know that it's time to wrap the interaction up you know that this is somebody that is not in alignment like you thought they were or how they presented themselves we got the five of wands in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse because generally these men who come in disguise this empress to you whoever you are I'm telling you, some of these men were sent in and whoever sent them in knew that you were not going to respond to a devil energy. You were going to immediately reject that, run away from it. So they had to pretend. 
but they could not keep the facade up, okay? Especially with the Queen of Swords. A Queen of Swords can see right through your ass. They know the truth. And some of these men may have also showed their hands, so to speak, by trying to be combative with you, trying to have some sort of conflict and drama with you almost immediately after you started giving and receiving to and from them. That's why this came out in reverse. Because as soon as they started that bullshit, you exited stage left, okay? As soon as they started trying to come with this power dynamic, for example, if any of these emperor devil energies ever tried to bestow you with any gifts, these men immediately let you know that it was some sort of strings attached to their gift giving, okay? That there was some sort of extortion going on. And that's because, once again, they were being sent in to spend money, to try to please you, to try to do these things, to get a hold of you so that they could be able to destroy you and cause drama and conflict in your life. But you got up out of it every time, okay? That explanation is very important because whoever I'm picking up on, it's not that you are a screwed up, Div you are divine feminine but you feel like something is screwed up within you because why you keep meeting all of these jerks and I'm telling you ain't nothing screwed up within you a good majority of these people that you've been meeting have been purposely sent your way to put you in some sort of breadcrumbing conflicted energy okay and the universe knows that. They know that energies have been specifically sent towards you to pull you up out of this Queen of Swords energy. To pull you up out of this integrity that you are residing in. They're trying to stop you. Okay? So in order to avoid all of that, honey, Most High God is like, well... We just ain't going to let nobody get to her. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands. Ooh, excuse me, Knight of Wands. Because I'm telling you, they've been trying to get your girl. But it's a chastity belt around that thing moving forward. Meaning that anybody that tries to come in to get you in this way, to celebrate with you in the Devil Three of Cups, they're immediately going to be restricted. They ain't going to get nowhere near your snatch, okay? They is giving more than a chastity belt. It's giving some sort of 50 feet type of thing. Like you got some sort of spiritual restraining order against individuals like that as well. And I don't know what's going on with my voice, <laughs> okay? I feel like maybe you tired of explaining to the most high God what you want, what you feel you deserve. You feel like you've been very clear when expressing to the Holy Spirit that you don't want no scrub. You want a divine masculine, okay? So in order for you to finally end this karmic cycle you've been in as of late with these hit man op energies coming towards you, in order to end this cycle, for you to get that divine love, that unified partnership, okay? You're going to have to be on ice for a while. You're going to have to be in the Eight of Swords for a while. If you want to have a Six of Wands, Two of Cups, okay? If you really want a true divine counterpart, because he about to fall right up under you. So you are supposed to be getting the King of Wands now. That's why we saw that from the beginning. Even these people that are being sent towards you, whoever's sending them, they know that. They know that you, it's like they already know that you're about to receive your king of wands. Okay? So they keep trying to make you take risks with people that you need to restrict yourself from. Because they want you to miss out on this new opportunity and love. Okay? They want you to miss out on the real one. 
So they keep trying to distract you with these bums. And there's a Capricorn in particular. I think this may be the last person you did try to celebrate with who really tried to put you down now. They really tried to cause some sort of insecurity in you, some sort of fragile energy within you. This person could have started being mean to you. Like it was some sort of love bombing, gaslighting type vibe. You know how it go. Okay. But you recognize the signs and you got on up out of Dodge. And the universe did hear your cry, Queen of Swords. Okay. The universe knows exactly what you deserve. They heard your prayers. They heard you reflect out loud. I'm hearing this is something that you like may have talked out loud to the most high God about how you are ready for a true divine counterpart, somebody that you can take a risk with and you don't have to worry about this type of negative energy. And the universe heard you. They heard you. They about to give, give you that Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles that you've been asking for. Okay. But like I told you, whoever this King of Wands is, he may have Virgo in his chart as well. He's trying to ascend to where you are. He ain't quite got there yet. Okay. But he getting there. And until he get there until he finishes this level of his spiritual journey only then will you and him connect so until he finishes this aspect of his soul journey you're gonna be sitting somewhere chilling put up somewhere now ain't nobody gonna be coming up in your face Okay, magician. That's the action that the universe has decided that will be taken. You could have Gemini somewhere prominently in your chart. Ain't going to be no more people coming up to you talking about, hey, how you doing? You look nice today. Can I pay for your stuff at the store when you in line at the gas station? Shit like that. Because see, that's how these men been coming at you. Just popping up randomly. You turn around the motherfucker right there. Ready to lay it on thick. These types of vibes are being blocked from you. Whether they were deliberately sent towards you. Or if it's the devil trying to test you. Clarify Holy Spirit. You're not going to be able to take no more action with anybody else. Because they being blocked from you. Judgment. That's the final decision. The trumpet has been blown on all of these karmic men coming towards you empress okay you could also have a libra in your chart you could be a libra but you're gonna be single for a while it's it's really about to be all about you meaning that you finna be single for some time it could take nine weeks it could take nine days it may could even take nine months before this King of Wands hermit actually presents himself to you. But what I'm also getting from the universe putting this type of restriction on your love life is that maybe there's some sort of healing that you need to do. Because even though he hadn't gotten to where you're at, Empress, it's still some sort of ego energy here. Like you expect a certain caliber of man, a, cer a man to have specific characteristics that you feel define him as an emperor. And the universe is on something a little different than what you feel. That's what I'm hearing. Clarify, Holy Look, Five of Swords. Because what you are specifically looking at initially in men you're missing something. You're looking You're looking for the wrong thing initially, I'm hearing. Justice then came out here now. There's some sort of truth 
and honesty and integrity that the universe wants you to search for within the person who's presenting them to you, even if they're not a romantic partner. It's almost like the universe is about to allow you some time to practice, not with karmic men, but other type of connections, soul tribe type of connections, people who are in alignment with you, people who think and feel the same way that you do. Hierophant can be group thing energy, people who have the same morals and values as you. The universe wants you to start searching for that level of integrity and the people that you interact with on a daily basis. This is going to help you recognize that divine counterpart who will be coming forth very soon because nine weeks can go blow by before you know it. The way time been moving lately, okay? I feel like my birthday was just the other week now, okay? So before you know it, if you're operating in this energy to balance yourself in such a way that you are looking for inner qualities more so than outer characteristics, okay? You will be able to recognize this King of Wands Hermit energy when he comes towards you. Because right now he and the King of Wands Hermit. But this man is actually going to evolve into an Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. So this is the assignment that the universe wants you to take on while your divine counterpart is finishing up this certain stage of his assignment that he's currently in, okay? That's what I'm hearing. The universe wants you to start looking for that, that other aspect of a person which will let you know if they're worthy of your time, your energy, your partnership, companionship, whatever it is, okay? So you can be ready when this man come now. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups energy to me is you. It's like you're diving deeper into your divine femininity, okay? Like you are a divine feminine. But the next stage of your ascension is going to allow you to, it's four queens in the tarot deck, okay? Each queen represents specific qualities and all of these queens and all of those qualities wrapped into one makes the divine feminine. You're out here as three queens already, okay? So I feel like you're going to emerge as the Queen of Wands, okay? When you complete this final, I ain't gonna say final, as in that's the end of your healing journey, but final as in that's the end of the lessons you need to learn in order to get with your man, okay? That's what I'm damn hearing. It's deliberate action that you need to take in order to be ready for him. And you can't have this divine union if you're getting thrown off kilter and delayed by Emperor Capricorn devil energies, okay? Because whoever this last person was that you tried to be with, they got Capricorn somewhere prominently in their chart. They did not present themselves to you as this devil four of pentacles, but that's who they really are, okay? And you picked up on it and you got out of there, but it ain't even going to be no more close calls. Okay. That shit being locked down, honey. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Ain't nobody getting that thing. Ain't nobody even going to be able to approach that thing, the sun, because that's what it is now. That's what it is now. It's, it's the sun now. That's your energy. That's why. They don't mind taking on the task of trying to come towards you and date you. But the universe knows their true intentions. 
And because of their true intentions, the universe just not going to chance you being in the nine of swords anymore. There's definitely been some sort of shift. Okay? There's definitely been some sort of shift. That shit locked down now. I'm trying to tell you now. And I feel like it was already somebody else who was being geared up to come towards you, honey. I'm telling you now. Because whatever this Capricorn tried to do didn't work. And this is why the universe is, is causing this shift. This unexpected change. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Was there another man that was slated, I'm telling you, to come in towards this divine feminine and try to throw her off her path? Ten of Wands. There was somebody who was there was somebody else who was supposed to come in and put burdens and stress on you, burn you out, cause some sort of fatigue within you, but you resilient, honey. The universe knows that you ain't just accepting any old thing. Once you realize that these people ain't right, you disconnect, okay? You remain balanced and in alignment. You don't allow them to completely throw you off your game. And so because you look, you get mental clarity. You understand that this is a new challenge that somebody has sent towards me and I need to eliminate it. I need to have a victory over this person and their efforts against me. And you achieve a victory every time. You have clarity and you have a breakthrough every time. But the universe don't even want you again to feel any type of heartbreak, any type of upset, disappointment from these slick love offers, okay? So that thing is getting locked down because I'm telling you, it's somebody else. It's somebody else here. They could be a fire sign. They came out in relation to this 10 of wands, nine of wands. They could have air somewhere prominently in their chart. What else do we need to know about this person? But I think they kind of already high priestess. Mm. That means that they're trying to keep their true identity a secret from you. They're going to come in with beautiful eyes and lies. That's what I just heard, child. <laughs> well, that's what they was going to try to do. They could be a Pisces. They, they could be a, a fire sign. They could be an air sign. Those three elements are popping out prominently for whoever this is child but they ain't finna get to you the universe said uh-uh uh-uh and i can't make it up it's it's a lock it's some sort of guard up over this this hot pocket okay this ace of cups that you got people gonna come look you see that's this that's this cloud high priestess energy that high priest or I'm hearing high priest energy. He came out as the high priestess. But it's a man on this two of wands card. Okay? And a man on this knight of cups card. This person, that's the offer that they were about to come bring to you. And the reason why they are cloud is because there is some allusion to who they truly are. But the universe is not going to allow this person to even get past the gate to come over here to you, okay? That's this chastity belt energy that I'm picking up on. And it's really giving like it's a whole bubble around you, okay? They just not gonna be able to approach you anymore. They are gonna get stopped in their tracks one way or the other. Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this person who is sending these ops towards this divine feminine Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? It could be a king of swords. What do we need to know about that person, Holy Spirit? Death. They could be a Scorpio child. That king of swords we saw. That's this 
air, fire. He, they could be like an Aquarius Pisces cusp. This next person that was supposed to come into you. But they all these men being sent by a Scorpio, King of Pentacles, child. That's who been sending these different men towards you. This person from your past. Why is this masculine doing this? Because he's possibly in regret that he can't hook up with you no more. So he trying to live vicariously through different masculines, but it's some sordid shit with it as well. First of all, the fact that he even sending men towards you. And second of all, his instructions for them to love bomb you, gaslight you, and attempt to destroy your life. Lovers, I'm telling you, this could have been somebody that you thought was your ideal lover, your divine masculine. Maybe he could have been at one point. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. But this man decided that he didn't want to do life with you. And he didn't went off and did a Ten of Pentacles somewhere else, possibly with somebody else, okay? Because he had a choice between you and whoever he is currently collaborating with and working with. But it's like this man do not want to see you have that same thing. Okay? And he really been trying to cause some sort of emotional roller coaster in your life when it comes to romance, relationships, and the quality partnership that you deserve. He this man has had you questioning you know, were you truly sitting in the divine feminine energy that you've been residing in if you keep getting bum-ass motherfuckers? But that's because he was purposely sending them towards you. And the Most High God know it. The Most High God know that this man created false options for you purposely. God know what the hell going on. Page of Swords, Three of Wands. These Seven of Cups, Page of Cups offers presented to you as an emperor. And it ain't going to be no more of that with this temperance energy, divine intervention, than kicked in. Okay? Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, that's over with. Ain't nobody running up on you no more. The next person that run up on you it's going to be this King of Wands hermit energy. He could be a Leo. And look, now you coming out as that fourth queen, I'm trying to tell you. The next person that is going to be allowed to put forth any effort towards you is going to be the person who you are the match to. And that's that Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? You coming with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. That was the two Aces that you were embodying. Okay? So, just get used to being celibate for a while. Just go ahead and know that you're going to have to sacrifice dating and any type of intimate, intimate interaction. You may not even have the urge to masturbate or anything. I'm telling you, like, they shut it all down with this hangman. That's what I'm getting here. And you out here, though, as all four queens and the empress. So don't ever doubt that you a divine feminine. Don't ever doubt it. It's a setup, honey, to make you think and feel anything differently. And so it is to avoid... This attack against your self-esteem, can't nobody come towards you till this Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles is ready to. That's the only person. I'm telling you, the next person that come towards you, and it may take nine days, nine weeks, or nine months, 
But that next man that you meet, whoever I'm talking to, because you're tired. That's why my voice sounds like this. I think you feel just like drained and you're tired of talking about what you feel you deserve. So this is how the universe is going to ensure that you get it. Look, this is why I just said that about masturbation. Because even through some sort of spiritual manipulation, this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, has been trying to fuck with you too. When it comes to sex, intimacy, your worth, he may be doing some sex magic on you too. Because again, I'm telling you this, this fallen twin flame possibly here. Okay. He know that the universe has realigned the stars to give you a new counterpart. Because he refused to collaborate with you and collaborated with somebody else. Possibly a Taurus. Okay. But this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, better be mindful. Because this effort to send out energy, hoping you'll believe that you're never worthy of a divine counterpart, that shit may ricochet back to his little Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles he got going on. Okay? I'm hearing something like that. Because he's sitting in that energy with whoever he's currently collaborating with. Whoever he chose over you. But he hell bent on you being in some five of pentacles, devil three of cups energy with somebody. He going to fuck around and that's going to be the state of his relationship if he keep it up. Because this man has been talking to the moon about you. He's been doing things on the physical realm and he's been doing things on the spiritual realm. Okay. And the universe heard his ass and they said, okay, then challenge accepted. Ain't nobody going to get close to it in anybody you send in any karmic energy you send in is going to get redirected in the opposite direction. That's what I'm hearing. They not, it's like if they get in their car and it comes towards you, they may run out of gas, okay? Or they may get in a car accident. They're going to be confused about the level of karma coming their way every time they attempt to contact you, make contact with you. It's like this King of Pentacles, King of Cups has been tracking you somehow, and he be knowing where you at, and these random motherfuckers be popping up on you and shit trying to say something to you and talk to you. That shit is not no coincidence now. I don't know what this Fallen Twin Flames problem is, but it sounds like he confused to me. Because how you sitting in the Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, all of this supposed wealth and security, but worried about destroying the life of another. If the person that you with truly bring you joy, then why are you over here sweating the happiness of your father? Well, he had, you ain't fail. He has. He might have not fail as far as establishing a stable life. But as far as divinity, this, this king of cups has fallen. Okay? And he swear whoever he with bring him joy. But the universe know his ass is lying. They don't care how many vacations. He go on with this other person. The fact that he doing all of this to you, Divine Feminine, is quite telling. And what's done in the dark will come to light. And weird neighbors just showed itself for a second time today. Because I'm telling you, this man is tracking you somehow. These people ain't rolling up on you by happenstance. And the universe know that. That's why the Most High God, I'm telling you, Anybody that try to come towards you thinking they going to hook up with you and date you and try to destroy your life for this man, they're going to get redirected 
in a way that's not going to be pleasing for them. I'm telling you. The Most High God going to make sure you get your divine masculine this time around. We have Asia. Somebody could be from Asia or of Asian descent here. What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else we need to know? We're going to close, y'all. I ain't mean to go this long. We still don't trust you. Whoever this next person is that's going to be sent towards you. Let me tell you why this King of Cups think he's slick now. He think he he think he clever, honey. Let me tell you. He has decided to switch up the, the type of man that he gonna send towards you because he feels like you've gotten hip to this Emperor Devil vibe that he been sending in the past. And you have, okay. This man may be sending in somebody of a different race or ethnicity, somebody that you would not even blink an eye at or consider to be an op, somebody you normally wouldn't date. But guess what you going to say? We gonna, you, we going to say, damn right, we, I'm going to help you say it from this reading. We still don't trust you. That's what you going to tell anybody. And I'm telling you, it's, gonna, it's really something like ain't nobody going to be able to come towards you. But if they get to skip and slide through, you going to let them know you still don't trust them. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Twin flame. Because you know, you going to know that just from what I told you, because watch now, if this high priestess King of Swords by that is going to try to come towards you next is able to skate by the universe. You are going to almost know immediately that this is somebody your twin flames sent towards you. It's like you're going, you've got insight and clarity now of what's really going on. So you ain't even going to let them get a few words out their mouth before you go shut them down. But I'm telling you, this I'll be fresh as hell if the feds watching energy. The feds is giving the universe, the spiritual realm, the most high God, the Holy Spirit, who is watching this whole situation, watching your fallen twin flame even, and what he's continuing to try to do against you. You got authorities watching over you in the spiritual realm to ensure that Nobody don't get to try to take advantage of you again and that you're not put in a position where you can mistakenly accept bum behavior, okay? And I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end it here, child. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, they put in a chastity belt, a spiritual chastity belt around that good good you got, honey. But if it doesn't apply, y'all, let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.